Hello friends, today we have brought the story of the missing movie for you. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video. The film starts with a laptop screen where an old video recording of a family is playing. In the recording, there is a six-year-old girl named June playing happily with her dad James and mum Grace. However, in this video, James doesn't seem well because he's bleeding from his nose. After this, the video is being trimmed and saved in a folder named June. Then, medical reports are shown on the screen, revealing that James had a brain tumor that led to his passing away. This is the last video with his happy family. Now, 12 years have passed. Over time, Grace and June have moved forward. While June still misses her dad a lot, Grace is happy in her life with her boyfriend Kevin. She has made a better life for herself and June, trying to make June accept Kevin in place of her dad. She believes that Kevin is a good person who cares for both of them. To make Grace happy, Kevin plans a vacation to Cartagena, Colombia, and Grace is excited to go along. She tells June about the trip and assures her that everything will be fine during that week. She also mentions sending some money to June in case of need, and her best friend Heather will take care of June in her absence. Meanwhile, Kevin is uploading pictures of their vacation to his account. On the other hand, June is having a great time with her friends, enjoying pool parties, clubbing, makeup, and more. Time flies and June doesn't realize how the week has passed. She's been very happy these days, but today is Father's Day, and she's feeling sad again, missing her dad. She watches the old video once more. However, this time, she decides to give Kevin a chance for her mum's happiness, thinking that maybe he could fill her dad's place. So, June goes to Los Angeles International Airport to pick up her mom and Kevin, but they don't arrive even after hours of waiting. She tries calling them but gets no response. Anxious, she returns home and considers the possibility that they might have taken another flight or are facing network issues. She plans to call their hotel to get information. Unfortunately, their hotel doesn't have any updates and June starts to worry. She contacts her aunt Heather and explains the situation. Heather calls an agent named Park at the US Embassy in Colombia to seek assistance. She's asking Park to help gain access to Grace's email, as that could potentially help track their location if they are connected to the internet. However, June doesn't have access to Grace's email, so they're trying to find a solution. While waiting for the agent's response, June remembers that there are companies in Colombia that provide various services, similar to the ones in the United States. She searches online for a service provider named Xavier and contacts him to check for any available footage from the tourist areas of Colombia. Xavier agrees to help in exchange for a small fee. He suggests that June go to the hotel to access the footage. As Xavier is getting ready to go to the hotel, he advises June to also try accessing Kevin's email in the meantime. He believes that if both Grace and June are together, connecting to either of their emails could help track their location. June realizes that she has spent most of her money and wonders how she'll get to Colombia. At this point, she contacts a service provider named Xavier in Colombia who is willing to help in exchange for a small fee. Xavier provides her with an idea. Just like there are service providers for various needs in the US, there would likely be similar providers in Colombia. He suggests looking for such a provider who might have access to Kevin's email and can help retrieve the information. As June is searching for solutions, she's concerned about her mom and Kevin and wonders why they might have left without her. She's determined to find them and bring them back safely. The story ends on a suspenseful note leaving the audience eager to know what happens next. Please note that the translation provided is based on the information you provided and might not capture all nuances perfectly. If you have specific questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. If even one location is traced, they will know where they are and how they are. That's why June, 
along with her friend Vina, has been working to access Kevin's email. Finally, she managed to crack Kevin's email, and from that, she has learned that his location has been off since landing in Columbia. She is hoping to find the location of the last payment from his credit card details. While checking these details, she came across a photo of a girl named Rachel, along with several blocked girls' names who are reaching out to Kevin with different names demanding money. This indicates that he's a fraud who uses dating as a pretext to extort money from girls. Even though Grace and Kevin have met recently, it hasn't been much time. This suggests that perhaps he has ensnared her mother for money. As she speaks with JV, June realizes that in every post and video of Kevin, his face is clear, but her mother Grace's face is never clear. Upon closely examining all the videos and pictures, she figures out that her mother isn't in any of them. Instead, it's the same Rachel whose photo was in Kevin's email. This means that her mother never went to Columbia with Kevin, and Grace was the one who went to Columbia with Rachel. This implies that her mother might have disappeared between home and the airport, or worse, something might have happened to her. Because of the kidnapping headlines, even Rachel got caught and is accepting on news channels that it was all part of an acting project, as she's an actress and was paid for this role. Here, Agent Park reveals a new piece of information to June, her mother's true identity is different, and the name she's currently known by is not her real name. She legally changed her name and hid her location in court and the reason behind this is unknown. Another headline surfaces that Grace staged her own kidnapping. To understand the motives behind everyone, June is once again checking Kevin's emails. She discovers that he's secretly messaging someone about Grace and himself, and upon digging further, she realizes that Kevin is talking to Grace's best friend Hyder in secret. Therefore, to get answers to all her questions, June now has access to Hyder where his office is in shambles, and all computer details are being deleted. Before she could ask anything, her mother had died, and upon seeing this, June is very panicked and unable to comprehend what to do next. She calls Agent Park and explains everything, who helps her understand that there must be something that Heather knows, which resulted in a threat that took her life. Now, there's a threat to her as well, so she needs to be cautious too. Later, in Colombia, June is watching live footage of Kevin's death during a police raid, where he was shot despite surrendering. Seeing this as a dead end, June is shutting down her computer in despair, thinking that she'll never know about her mother's fate. Suddenly, she's listening to a voicemail from her mother, and while listening to it, she's realizing the password to her mother's email. Further investigation reveals threatening emails being sent to Grace, which leads June to security cameras that Kevin had installed in the distant house. The location traces back to Jimmy, who's now clear to her as having a vacation home in Nevada where she spent her childhood. As she uncovers this, Jimmy is calling her, revealing that he has information about Grace. Meeting Jimmy, he tells her that he's June's father James, claiming that Grace is emotionally unstable and was arrested under false charges protecting June from her. However, when he unknowingly reveals that he's in the same prison where Kevin was locked up, he uses audio feed from security cameras to instruct Siri to call 911, ultimately saving them. A year later, Grace has recovered from her gunshot wound, and June has returned to college. Their story is being showcased on a crime show as fiction. Grace and JV are now in a relationship and JV has reconnected with his estranged son, thanks to June. June messages her mother, expressing her love, and Grace replies that she loves her too. The story concludes with the end of the film Happy Note.